Smoley Wave Springs reduce spring heights by up to 50%. Our Spiralox retaining rings have no ears to interfere with an assembly. Over 10,000 standard parts are stocked in carbon and stainless steel with samples readily available to test in your application. This week on Engineering Newswire, we're skydiving to reach Mach 1, prototyping an electromagnetic railgun, and cycling underwater with a jet bike. This episode is brought to you by Smalley Steel Ring Company, the exclusive manufacturer of Spiralox retaining rings and Smalley Wave Springs for more than 50 years. Request samples to try in your application today. Fearless Felix Baumgartner has broken the sound barrier by leaping into the stratosphere from a balloon hovering near the edge of space 24 miles above Earth on Sunday. The 11 by 8 foot fiberglass and acrylic capsule that he jumped from was carried as high as 128,000 feet by an enormous balloon. Baumgartner's body pierced the atmosphere at a maximum speed of 833.9 miles per hour not only breaking the sound barrier, but also breaking the records for the highest altitude man balloon flight and the highest altitude skydive before landing safely on the ground. Baumgartner, who almost aborted the dive because his helmet visor fogged up, says that traveling faster than sound is hard to describe because you don't feel it. With no reference points, you don't know how fast to travel, he told reporters. The descent lasted just over nine minutes, with 119,846 feet of it being in free fall. What, Felix? No flips to add to that jump? That's not very fearless. NASA and the IHMC, with the help of engineers from Oceaneering Space Systems of Houston, have jointly developed a robotic exoskeleton called X1, a 57-pound robotic device that a human can wear to either assist or inhibit movement in leg joints. Worn over the legs with a harness that reaches up the back and around the shoulders, the X1 has 10 degrees of freedom. There are four motorized joints at the hips and the knees, and six passive joints that allow for sidestepping, turning, and pointing, as well as flexing a foot. This device could mean a new exercise regimen for astronauts, or a new way to walk for those relegated to crutches or wheelchairs. By combining NASA technology and walking algorithms, X1 has the potential pr to produce high torques to allow for assisted walking over varied terrain, as well as stair climbing. Brings a whole new definition to doing the robot. See, my dance is better than Megan's. Exercise is so much fun, said no one ever, but it can be more relaxing now with the introduction of the Fit Wet Jet Bike. The contraption is a unique piece of exercise equipment that combines a stationary underwater bike with a personal jetted tub. Exercise just got a little more attractive. Underwater workouts do have their fitness advantages over regular workouts due to the increased resistance of water versus air. Walking in water provides more of an intense workout and burns more calories than walking on dry land. Water also serves as a sort of natural shock absorber, helping to limit stress and pain on joints. The jet bike experiments with this concept of underwater cycling. FitWet claims that 30 minutes of jet biking is equivalent to two hours on a standard bike. The jet bike is designed to work your quads, butt muscles, thighs, abdominal muscles, calves, and more, with FitWet claiming it burns up to 800 calories an hour. Like walking underwater, the jet bike also offers a comfortable, low-impact workout environment. The water keeps you cool and comfortable despite the added challenge. Best of all, it's 12 jets massage and relax your muscles while you pedal. Getting a massage while working out? Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. The Office of Naval Research is evaluating the second of two industry railgun prototype launchers. What is a railgun launcher, you might ask? The EM railgun launcher is a long-range naval weapon that fires projectiles using electricity instead of traditional gun propellants such as explosive chemicals. Magnetic fields created by high electrical currents accelerate a sliding metal conductor, or armature, between two rails to launch projectiles at 4,500 to 5,600 miles per hour. This new railgun was developed by General Atomics, whereas another model was designed and delivered by BAE Systems back in January. The Navy is utilizing input from both companies to reduce risk in the program and foster innovation. 
Both organizations are commencing work on concept designs, including continued development of automatic projectile loading systems and thermal management systems for the barrel. What did you do at work today? Nothing, just built a giant electromagnetic gun. Ever walk into a grocery store looking for that one item, like marshmallow fluff? You'd think it would be in the baking aisle, but some stores actually pair it with the ice cream, while others place it with the peanut butter. Annoying, right? Well, researchers at the Helsinki Institute of Information Technology and the Max Planck Institute for Informatics have come up with a solution that tickles your senses. A high-tech, vibrating glove that utilizes sensors to steer users' hands to objects of interest. The solution builds on inexpensive, off-the-shelf components such as four vibrotactile actuators on a simple glove and a Microsoft Connect sensor for tracking the user's hand. The glove also has a dynamic guidance algorithm that calculates effective actuation patterns based on distance and direction to the target. Aside from helping shoppers find items in a supermarket, the glove can also direct pedestrians about town and help find a lost car in those ridiculously oversized parking lots. That makes me wonder, where'd I park my car? Do you have story ideas for the next episode? Comment below or email us with your story ideas and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&E TV, I'm Chris Fox and this has been your Engineering Newswire.